When we search, we find, and when we research, we find something new. To throw some light on research, today with us, we have Dr. Naveen Kumar. Sir is currently employed with Amrita University and heading Hyderabadi Comsoc, Bangalore. To begin with, sir, kindly let us know what does research mean to you? Why is it so important? Thank you, madam, very much. and. Uh, uh I thank you for inviting and giving this opportunity to interact with the faculty and uh, student community at your university. Uh, yes, uh, research is uh, something which uh, now it has become passion for me. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy teaching the student and colleague to do research. And it is very important. It is important in the sense that uh, as you rightly said that research is finding something new, coming up with some discovery and innovation. So we are the technology guy and we keep on doing, develop the technology. So what happens is when this technology is developed, we see that society will develop. And we want ultimately that our society should be developed and the living standard of people should go up. And therefore, we see that it is very important and the technology development is directly linked to uh, updation and you can say the upgradation of living standard of our society and in turn country and the world at large. So, do you think every research should contribute something to society? Definitely. The research is about uh, uh, doing something which is and coming out a solution which is new and when you have new um, so the question is in fact why we do research so some finding which comes out it helps the scientific community it helps the knowledge gain and it helps the incoming or following people to refer that uh, what is discovered and maybe take it forward towards the next, next discovery. So it is directly linked to the society development, it is linked to scientific development, it is a contribution that you, an individual, makes to, uh, to the scientific committee towards when he or she does the research work. It means we should have some societal com component to be included when we are finding a research topic. Definitely, yes. Uh, so when we do, we have to ask ourselves a question that why are we doing, who are the end user and how they will be benefited. So, so the technology development is what? Techno as we, I said, the technology directly linked to societal development. And societal development uh, in turn increases the living standard of the people. So, so this is the objective. And then we, uh, we understand that which part of society or which uh, community of society or for which area of uh, uh, application my technology is being developed. So if we have this objective, then we are very clear that, OK, this particular segment or this uh, area is what going to be benefited with our development. Sir, could you please highlight some points which we can consider while selecting research problem? Yeah, so research problem, first thing we have to understand that if we are trying to address some problem, so we need to identify, actually, Again, like a end user, how it will benefit the society, how it will benefit the scientific com community, and so on. If you have attended uh, no, the first session that we took, uh, it is entirely at around three hours that focus on how to define a problem. 
right so we have we, we have some no shortcut of course we try to make it but we try to search what is available and uh, who are those people that they do uh, the similar kind of research and then we try to identify where where are the gaps available and then we try to pick up that gap and try to address that problem so so it requires a, a very extensive work that uh, we do because we need to identify what is available already and what is not available already and then we try to link it uh, no if we are addressing this kind of problem or going to address this kind of problem how useful it is and who are the people might be interested in my research work if we don't find that uh, importance then we should drop that and we should try to identify again different type of problems so that link is necessary so to my understanding uh, clear research problem will give a proper road map for the scholar to take it forward for the research and uh, publish it and uh, come up with some good articles or we, we should say quality articles definitely yes uh, as uh, no proverb says that uh, the the uh, the definite problem is almost half Uh, half of the solution you have it so if we define a clear problem then solution is available uh, and uh, if we address it systematically and uh, constantly uh, then definitely it will result into a good quality of research work and uh, no you can have publication you can have patent based upon uh, what you have achieved and methodology that you have used it it would be great for our research scholars if you can share few key attributes uh, to write a quality research paper yeah it's a good question but uh, no uh, it cannot be explained in a minute or so so we if you see we have designed a model developed a model which uh, no goes for a 3 hour or plus to understand the the way that we write but uh, uh, to explain very briefly Uh, there are syntax available and uh, i i would quote the international editors most of them they say that uh, around uh, no 50 60 or even sometimes 80% of rejections are there in the initial stage and the major reasons for the rejections are Uh, like a casualty of the authors they do not follow the template they do not format they don't do not structure the pro pro proper of uh, the paper manuscript the title is not properly written uh, then 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 you have uh, uh, there is no novelty uh, in the paper might be copy and paste and then you have another big issue is the english or the language uh, that is not written properly so these are some of the the major reasons by which the papers are uh, rejected immediately and the percentage of such rejection is very high so uh, as a tip as you are asking so if we concentrate if we try to address this problem then at least your work will go for to uh, export to be reviewed and from there you might get a constructive uh, uh, comment which where you have the scope to improve it so try to see that when you are packaging uh, the formatting the paper uh, you follow the author guideline english language try to uh, to ask your colleague or other person to read once before you submit it because if you keep on reading you will not able to detect the mistakes but other person immediately will able to find out some mistakes uh so that will improve the english english part and uh, of course novelty you should maintain it because any publication which comes out uh, requires a new result so if you have uh, some original uh, result original contribution please specify highlight that contribution uh, and uh, do not copy paste anything like that so before submission also you should ensure that similarity report is very, very is small you should not have a high similarity report so these are some of the clues you can know, uh, understand before submission and if initial stage is passed then the reviewer pro expert comment will come which in any way you will have chance to improve and you will get benefit from the comment that you are receiving from reviewer 
so uh, out of this answer what i understand is uh, 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 author should first follow author guideline then uh, they should uh, have proper english literature expert who can review or proofread the article then uh, we should have a novelty in research and finally we should follow the similarity index checker so that uh, we can assure that the content is not copied from anywhere exactly, exactly yeah so these are some of the initial steps however there is no shortcut uh, we have to work hard uh, to bring up a paper and pu publish it so so last question from my side uh, as a supervisor so how to keep our scholar motivated throughout the journey of research yeah this is another very important that uh, that we have to ensure uh, now there are certain things that if we follow then uh, we achieve because the research scholars when they start this journey uh, in the initial phase they come across many ups and downs. They see their environment, they see their, their uh, no, colleagues and surroundings and they see that you know, something, uh, they, they can make out whether their supervisor is spending time with them or not. So first thing we have to do is we have to spend time with them and we have to tell in advance, see these are the things will come to you in front of you. So do not, do not bother, do not worry about uh, all this. I know best way what when it, it will happen, how it will happen. So just leave it and what we are telling you, uh, I am telling you, just do it and things will happen smoothly. Uh, so first thing is we have to have confidence on ourselves and build up confidence in, in the scholar. So this is one. Second is uh, we have to, uh, to see that they are not demotivated. So to keep them motivated, we should ensure some funding for them. Uh, we should encourage uh, no, and we should uh, try to give them stipend from uh, uh, the management or the university if they are able to. Otherwise, we should try to write a proposal uh, to other agency, funding agency on the, on the work that they are, uh, they are going to do. So th once they get some stipend and the funding agency, if they fund, then it is bound to because even not you or not the, neither the scholar, they cannot go away from, they have to work because they have been funded. And that uh, also gives a motivation. The third point is uh, when you start, uh, no, there is a way to you know, introduce them to the subject. Don't uh, you know, keep on telling them that you do this, you do this, you do this. No. It is that we explain them how to do it, how the best way to do, to do it, and let us do it. So when you see, when you have such type of uh, no the 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 commitment and uh, explanation to them, they will feel that no professor is also with me. I am not alone. Professor is not telling that you do this. I want this. I want that. I want a publication in next three months. I want this. So so those things are actually a negative sign, and they are, they get demotivated if it does not come a publication and so on. So in the initial phase, then we start uh, no, encouraging them. When we see some new result, then we say, OK, let us publish it. So maybe uh, it is not uh, going to be in, uh, in the journal, but it has a quality uh, by which we can submit to a conference paper. So if a conference proceeding comes out uh, with the quality, then again, they have the motivation and they continue. So, so, so these things, if we maintain, I think, uh, they, they continue going what you are saying and they will be very happy and they will be motivated. So I feel uh, research is a race which uh, a scholar as well as a supervisor both have to run together. But it is not a race. It is not a race. We cannot say a race. Uh, you don't compete something. You have your own definition of problem and uh, you are trying to address that problem. You are not competing with anyone. Neither research or scholar, they are not competing with anyone. So we, we cannot say it is a race. Yes, it is a, it is a long run journey and smoothly how we sail through that depends upon us. so uh, like in that journey both have to uh, yeah, walk yeah. together but work together definitely yes maybe sometimes in the initial phase you have to work harder than the scholar 
time. Yeah, that right. is true. That is true. Because they are new, they do not know, and uh, we have to work really harder as compared to a scholar. Yes. Thank you, sir.